Hi, welcome back to Learn Me Some English. My name is Jean Meesom. I know I've been away a while. I was at a language school in Ireland teaching for the summer. So today we're going to continue with our daily news articles. The name of the article today is France Plans Disposable Vape Ban to Fight Smoking. So let's get started with the vocabulary. Again, I'd like you to stop when you can. Pronounce the word that I've said and maybe try to make your own sentence as well. The first word is disposable. That's an adjective. Made to be thrown away after being used. This coffee shop charges extra for disposable coffee cups. The next word is habit. H-A-B-I-T and that's a noun. Something that a person or animal regularly or often does. A practice one cannot stop doing. Brushing your teeth twice a day is a good habit to get into, but you can also benefit your overall health. Vaping. This is a noun. V-A-P-I-N-G. The act of using an electronic cigarette. A lot of my friends have switched from cigarettes to vaping recently. Harmful. H-A-R-M-F-U-L. Likely or able to cause harm or damage. Secondhand smoke has been shown to be harmful to children's health. Flavor, a noun, F-L-A-V-O-R. The way food or drink tastes. Cinnamon can be used to add flavor to both sweet and savory dishes. And lastly, respect. This is a verb, R-E-S-P-E-C-T. To follow or recognize a rule, law, etc. It's illegal to park on the footpath, but the law is not generally respected or enforced. Now to the article. France plans disposable vape ban to fight smoking. French Prime Minister Elizabeth Bourne has said that disposable vapes will soon be banned in the country as part of a national anti-smoking plan. Bourne, speaking on RTL radio, did not say when the ban would begin. She said the government would soon be announcing more information about its anti-smoking plan. Smoking is the cause of 75,000 deaths a year in the country, she added. The pan will include a ban on disposable vapes, which she said are giving bad habits to young people. E-cigarettes have been thought of as a good way to help adult smokers to stop smoking cigarettes. But Bourne thinks that when young people begin to use vapes, they are more likely to start smoking. According to data from 2022, More than half of the 17-year-olds in France have tried to vape. Eurostat data from 2019 found that among countries in the European Union, French people vape the most. And the use of vapes among young people has been increasing across Europe. Experts say that vaping is much less harmful than smoking, but that we still do not know the long-term effects. Most disposable e-cigarettes come in sweet flavors like pink lemonade and watermelon, and this makes them popular with teenagers. They are sold in France, usually at a price between $8.70 and $13. There is already a ban on selling e-cigarettes to people under 18, although this is not always respected. Advertising these products is also banned. Questions. How many deaths a year does smoking cause in France, according to the Prime Minister? What percentage of 17-year-olds in France have tried vaping? How much do disposable vapes sell for in France? And lastly, what are your thoughts on France's plan to ban disposable vapes? Well, I hope you enjoyed this article today. And you can find this article and many others at engu, E-N-G-O-O dot com, where they have many interesting daily articles, including the vocabulary and including questions. Well, thank you so much. It was wonderful to spend time. I hope to see you again here at Learn Me Some English. Again, you can reach me at www.learnmesomeenglish.com.